If you have recently traveled on Highway 6, you might have been going faster than the posted speed limit. I probably tend to go over 70 anyway. Laura Polian admits she has, and those speeders are in luck. Now the speed limit is 75. So why the change of speed limit? Well, Techstar did a study and it showed that many people along Highway 6 went more than 70. We usually set speed limits as we take the number of cars that we have shot that day to see how fast they're traveling and they set the speed limit by the 85th percentile that those cars were traveling. That means that 85% of cars were traveling at the speed of about 75. This study also confirmed the roads could handle increased speed. Even though we can go faster now, we just ask everyone to do their part and use some common sense. So when the traffic volume increases, the weather changes from dry weather to wet weather, you also have to change your speed and realize that that's the maximum speed. This change is also happening to State Highway 47 from Highway 21 to FM 60, then from State Highway 21 to west of the Bryan City limits, a move many of the drivers think is great. As long as you're a safe driver, most speed limits uh, really won't matter, and proper maintenance of the car will also dictate whether or not that speed limit will be safe. And for many with a lead foot. Uh, I'm all for it. I mean, uh, I'm going 75 anyway, so now, now at least I'll be uh, following the speed limit. Now those traveling can get to where they need to go faster. Monica Castro, KAGS HD News.